Oh boy, folks, do we have some big leaks for you guys today. They're calling them leaks. I'm going to probably stick with the word rumor, uh, probably put rumor in the title on this, uh, about some massive games coming to Switch. And we don't even have to wait long uh, because some of these announcements are supposedly happening tomorrow. Uh, and that's probably why I'm covering this because typically I won't cover uh, things like this based on uh, where it originated from. However, the fact that we don't have to wait long makes me want to throw it out there just in case because this is huge news and, I mean, about damn time, honestly, if you're a Switch owner. But before I get into that, i got to remind you, we are giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards. Head down to the description of the pinned comment to enter. Also, hey, you know what? If today is the day you decide that my channel is worthwhile because forget Patreon, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Let's get on our road to 70K and maybe 100K in 2021. All right. Ooh, this is juicy. So uh, I originally spotted this on Twitter by a Twitter user uh, at 00000789314636 underscore K uh, and then at pod sales. Um, they put this stuff out there and I was wondering where it came from and I actually found out but before I get into where the where some of this stuff originated from let's just talk about uh what it is they say possible leak GTA 4 which was previously leaked by Amazon and more so yes there actually was a leak about GTA 4 coming to all systems uh that's more so uh, uh, a retail leak so that part we can kind of rely on but here we go tomorrow there's going to be a new trailer tomorrow like we don't have to wait long Announcing a release date for GTA 5 for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. I mean, GTA 5 coming to the platform isn't too big of a shock. So, okay, cool. Like, you can already backwards compat play it. But obviously, they'll have PlayStation 5 slash Xbox Series X update remaster version. Uh, but here's what, what matters for Switch people. GTA 5 is coming to Switch and launching this summer. That will be announced in the trailer supposedly tomorrow. Uh, for April, GTA 4 is going to be coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X slash S, and Nintendo Switch. GTA 3 Remastered will be coming to Nintendo Switch. GTA Collection Remastered, which is two remastered games of Vice City and San Andreas, will be coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X slash S, and Nintendo Switch. And GTA will be launching on Stadia this year. So I'm assuming all these games will end up on Stadia. Also, in addition to all of that, uh, GTA 5 is going to be the first game on switch using a 64 gigabyte cart now we have known these 64 gigabyte carts have existed for quite some time but we haven't actually like seen them used uh by anybody i figured nintendo might be the first one to do it but nope it looks like gta 5 if this is correct will be the first one to do it red dead redemption one not two but one uh with a rumor remaster uh is gonna have a basically but basically what, what, what it is is Red Dead Redemption 1 is supposedly being remastered for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, but Red Dead Red Redemption 1 will be coming over to Switch. So they're going to port it to Switch. What that means for 2, maybe on a Switch Pro, I don't know. Also, Bully is getting remastered, and that's going to be releasing on PlayStation 4, Xbox, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Switch. So basically, all platforms that anyone can, is somewhat current at this point, uh, Bully, a remastered version, will be coming to. Uh, obviously, this is basically a giant blowout for 2K. Uh, that's, wow, that's a lot of games from 2K. Uh, and obviously, for Switch owners, it's kind of like an about time, like, GTA 5 was on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Why the hell it isn't on Switch yet is anyone's guess, which is massively popular. So is GTA 5. Who the hell wouldn't want it conveniently on the go on Switch? It should run relatively well, considering the Switch is more powerful than an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. But, you know, it's nice to see uh, that that is potentially making its way over, along with basically the entire Grand Theft Auto series. That's pretty cool. Uh, what's interesting as well... Is obviously Red Dead Redemption. I like Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. So the idea of having the first one on Switch and that potentially opening the door for the second one on a Switch Pro down the line, that excites me. I do know for a fact that Red Dead Redemption 2 was attempted to run on Switch at one point behind the scenes. So getting the first one on there is obviously the first step to 
potentially getting the second one on there on a more powerful switch bully is a very underrated game uh glad to see that that's under consideration as well obviously these are all older games but big games and to me that obviously it's all about what doors are opened for Grand Theft Auto 6 and other future games from Rockstar. Uh, I, I have no idea, but just getting this dump of games on Switch this year would just be amazing. Obviously, for Xbox, PlayStation fan owners, I'm one of them. Getting these games is a big deal. Uh, and then obviously looking forward to the future of where Rockstar is going and what platforms are going to be supporting. Hopefully, Switch remains among one of those platforms, or Switch Pro at least. Uh, now, where did this stuff come from? I'm sure you're all wondering at this point. Uh, so, while these Twitter users are uh, where I discovered this stuff, it actually came out over on 4chan. Now, look, we don't talk about leaks and rumors and stuff from 4chan very often. It's all anonymous over there. You can't link like leaks to specific users uh 4chan does have a lot of legit leaks and rumors like that are absolutely real there's a lot of almost everything gets leaked on 4chan before it ends up anywhere else the problem of course is because there's no way to track who is leaking what uh that's also why we get legit leaks it also leads to a lot of fake leaks and people just trying to get attention uh so what's neat about this is tomorrow like we don't have to wait to find out if this is real tomorrow 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 so we'll see typically things from rockstar are not leaked early so like media members and stuff like that are typically not being like oh hey we're getting this tomorrow oh hey i've heard this about rockstar rockstar stuff is typically on lockdown so we'll see what happens um i hope that th this is true as a switch owner I just want the option to play these games, even if I don't plan to play most of them myself, but I know millions of other people will. And hey, I'm happy for what this means for the future and potentially getting a Grand Theft Auto 6 on a Switch Pro or something like that whenever that game is ready. I mean, hopefully in the next two, three years, but who the hell knows? Uh, Rockstar, I think, has earned the ability to take however much time they want to make any game they're working on. So anyways, that's what I got for you. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about this. Do you even want these games on Switch? I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you do. If you own a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, are you excited about some of the remasters and the better looking versions of these games that are probably going to come to the platform, even if this rumor isn't true? Are you excited about that? Obviously, I own all platforms, so I'm just excited across the board just to have more options to play some of Rockstar's best offerings. Uh, and obviously, on the go, hard to beat a Switch, right? Like, pretty good so anyways if you made it this far in the video what the hell are you doing subscribe to the channel drop a like i love you guys uh thank you for tuning in I, it's nice to finally talk about something that's not switch pro so big deal but uh we'll see what's up plus we got the zelda 35th anniversary stuff that's good that's coming at some point right right yeah all right guys i'll catch you in the next video